Power up, mate. After building the world's largest battery in the Outback a year ago, Elon Musk is at it again with the Aussies for a new electrifying project. The South Australia government will be installing rooftop solar panel systems and Tesla Powerwall 2 batteries in 50,000 residential homes over the next four years. The equipment generate power and provide electricity for each home, while collectively forming a virtual power plant with a 250 megawatt capacity. Any excess energy will feed into the main power grid to be used to supply electricity to other homes or during an emergency. Participants will still need to pay for any electricity they use, but will save 30% on their electric bill. Their homes will also be protected from blackouts. The first trial for the project is currently ongoing, with systems being installed at Housing Trust Homes first before being offered to other South Australian households. Keep watching for more electrifying stories. Harvesting energy from the sea. Japanese researchers have come up with special technology that can not only capture energy from waves, but also help protect coastlines. A team from Okinawa plans to set up energy harvesting turbines near tetrapods, which are concrete structures placed along the shore to weaken the force of incoming waves and prevent erosion. The turbine has five flexible blades modeled after dolphin fins. It's supported by a stem that's anchored to the seafloor with mooring cables, which, like the blades, is flexible and can bend under pressure. Inside the turbine head is a magnet electric generator, which transforms wave energy into electricity. The electricity is sent back to the shore via cables to feed into the grid. Using turbines on just 1% of Japan's coastline can generate roughly 10 gigawatts of energy, equivalent to about 10 nuclear power plants. Apart from tetrapods, the turbines can also harness electricity near coral reefs. They're built to be safe for marine life, with blade speed carefully calibrated so that any animals caught in them can escape unharmed. The team is currently preparing to install two half-scale model turbines that will power LEDs as part of a commercial demonstration. Rain or shine, future solar panels may be able to generate power. Scientists in China are producing solar panels that can produce energy from the last source you'd expect when we're talking about solar energy. Rainwater. In a typical solar panel, photons from a light source knock electrons free from atoms within the panel, and the action generates a flow of electricity. Although solar power technology has been getting increasingly efficient, there's still the tiny problem that solar cells can't produce any power when it's raining. Researchers are introducing a new type of solar panel by adding a layer of graphene or carbon atoms arranged in a honeycomb structure to dye sensitized solar cells. A flexible layer of indium-10 oxide and plastic is included underneath. Graphene has unusual properties that allow electrons to move freely throughout the entire layer. Rainwater contains positively charged ions like ammonium, calcium, and sodium. When water binds to the panel surface, a double layer of positive ions and negative